do folks as it going it's this case right so the weekend um <clears throat> the uk great britain blighty however you want to label it um was hit by um I don't know, they seem to like, the, the media seems to like giving these winds um, names now. So uh, I don't know what it was called, doesn't matter, but um, obviously the UK was smashed with sort of anything up to sort of 90 mile an hour winds up on the coast, on the west coast. So anyway, with that, I'm out with Rocky. And we're going to go and check how my shelter, my, sh shelter, my shelter has held out. So I've uh, got no idea really, it's, the wind comes right across these fields, smashes it out like anything and uh, so we'll see. I dare say that the old, um, <coughs> the old oil skin tart would have come off because that wasn't secured on there very well. But uh, anyway, it's hell of a lot more calmer today than it was yesterday. So uh, that was a very, very long intro, so stay tuned. Got a, uh, bought him a one tigress dog vest as well. Yeah, all we need is them dust goggles, and uh, we could chuck him out of helicopters, couldn't we? No. Well, I mean, I was not expecting that, um, the old skin tarp to be on top of it, if I'm honest. Uh, well, here we go, folks. There it is. I'm, I'm <laughs> you know what, in the grand scheme of things, I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, one of the guy lines has popped off, it actually looks like it's snapped, but um, hey-ho. Well, the, uh, maybe just flick the peg out, but um, that is it. That is it. This thing has stood up to uh, sort of 50, 50 mile an hour winds, which uh, and it's nice and dry in there as well. Hello, Rocky. Do you want to go in there? Do you want to go in? Do you want to go in? Hello, it's Olivia Ars, Farquhar Fenton here, off for short. I'm a big explorer, I travel around the world, whether I'm in the Serengeti, whether I'm in the trenches, whether I'm up in the trees, whether I'm low into the ground, I've always got an episode of Des Catty's videos to watch. Keeps me company at night, so do yourself a favour and subscribe to this channel. Goodbye. I'm just getting a brew on. Um, this cooks up. I started baking some years ago at Cherry, and uh, it was it was bugging the crap out of me. If it, it seemed so like thick around some of the walls on it, so what I spent Saturday doing, I sat in the shed 
amongst other things and sort of carved it down and made it a lot thinner than what it was so now I'm just using it now I've got what's coming out of it now. so uh, yeah quite impressed with that I'm really pleased that it come out <laughs> uh, right. this was another one of them sort of little videos that you see come up on Instagram and the like and uh, a tin with cardboard I use methylated spirits I think in their one they use like meths uh, not meths surgical spirits and uh, I'm quite impressed with that. I mean, it's not something I'd use all the time because I'd imagine that would go through some fuel. But it's all, it's all, it is quite handy. If not, just something to look at. <laughs> Looks like he's taken it upon himself to go and find all the discarded bits of plastic, which ain't a bad idea because I can pick that up and take it home. Um, but then he's using that to, uh, he's using it as chew toys as such, but. Um, I've done a leg with me cup. <laughs> Look, he wants, he wants it now. You're not having it. I was actually quite impressed with that. Now, uh, obviously it boiled up the kettle, no worries. There was still some mess left in the bottom of it. And uh, so I could tip back in the bottle. And it hasn't done a lot of damage to that cardboard either. I'm quite impressed with that. That's quite a nice little natty um, little stove to use I suppose as an alternative to whatever else you want to use you want to have a go at making one just wrap up a load of cardboard stick it in a tin and then uh, obviously add your yes your uh, alcohol of choice preferably not rum or something like that now I thought I'd incorporate this one into this video and this is my rations this is what goes into that mystery ranch pack um, they are getting the views obviously not as many as I want to there's obviously not a lot of people interested in it really so what I do is I thought I'd incorporate the uh, ration pouch section into this video really right and this is one of uh, Mr Fryer's um, flat pouches and this is what I use it's the MTP I bought a load of the MTP stuff off him some time ago to uh, go in the mystery ranch pack now normally I'm out for either just a Friday into a Saturday night or a Saturday night into a Sunday or I try and do a Friday into a Sunday. It's normally just weekend camping at the moment because unfortunately like most of us we have to go to work. We're slaves as it were. So uh, anyway, let's show you what I've got in here. Nothing in, you know, nothing sort of, uh, you know, special and out of blue really. So I've got a, this is just a, a vacuum sealed um, protein pot. I'll put an extra bit of milk powder in now with the um, with the with the porridge, and then I've got some mixed berries in there, a lot of protein berry mix as well. That's for my breakfast, and I'll either have that one of the mornings. For one of my main meals, I've got some savoury chicken now, and one of these uh, Fray Bentos chicken tikka, so they go nice together. Obviously, my spoon for uh, if I want to eat out of straight out of the pouch. I apologise for chewing on another bit of plastic. Got pork sausage and uh, pork sausage and beans and tomato sauce. So again, that can be used for like a breakfast or a lunchtime meal. Chili peanuts, and then I've got a couple of gels in there. Pepperoni, and then finally a couple of cho chocolate bars. So I've got a Snicker and a Kit Kat. All right, so nothing, you know, nothing sort of uh, too. Uh, Nothing too amazing there, really. Now with those rations, I do actually take, you know, I might take a bit of meat with me sometimes, a bit of beef, 
um, burgers and then that means if I'm gonna have them just I try to have them just as burgers rather than have them with rolls and everything else I try to cut down on my carbs a little bit um, but sometimes I'll add that as well they won't fit in there but obviously they'll just have to be put into the pack as need be or I'll put them into external pouch really when it comes to the rations but you know there's no hit and miss that's not about rations that's just showing you what I would take if I'm you know on a typical sort of overnight to a two to a two uh, two day overnight a three day out sort of thing so um hopefully that'll help some of you i'll give you an idea give you a few little ideas i mean there's a ton of videos on rations and military rations and all that type of stuff but um as i say with these with my this kit load out i'm literally just showing you the kit that i'm packing into that into that rucksack what's it they say never work with kids or animals That'd be as Larry looked chewing on that bottle. So thanks for watching that one folks. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. If you want to see more of Rocky coming out with me on some of these little day trips, then uh, please leave a little comment down below, let us know. Um, I've got to admit, he's still quite hard work bringing him out because he's still a pup, he's got a ton of energy and um, it certainly doesn't make it very peaceful for me but um, at the same time it's good to get him out I've got to get him used to it and uh, so there it is all right so thanks for watching folks take care I'll see you on the next one here don't forget to subscribe like and share my videos join the madhouse um, thank you <laughs>